What is going on guys? This is EC Jackets here with Throwback Thursday. I believe this is episode 5. And today I'm going to be playing an all-time classic known as James Bond 007 Golden Eye. And this is the Call of Duty before the Call of Duty. Starring James Bond himself as Agent 007. And... Um, this game was probably one of the first shooter games I was playing as a kid. I probably didn't even really know what a gun was back then, but I know this shit was fun. Um, one of the things that make this game pretty exciting is actually the multiplayer. I mean, they got a pretty good story mode, but uh, when you can play, you know, four players all on the Nintendo 64, um, it gets pretty exciting. So I'm going to jump into the action and try to complete a mission. Um, so right now, these are the only two I have unlocked, so we'll just go to the dam and start. So yeah, like I said, this game um, is a little different than shooter games now. You can't really aim down sight in this game, um, but James Bond games have always been, you know, one of my favorites. Um, I played one called The World Is Not Enough. If you have that for N64, that's like a blue game. Um, I'd also play one called Agent Under Fire, which was, I believe, for Xbox. But, um, ooh, look at him. Get capped. Bang, bang. Yeah, see, this is just um, classic gameplay, so I have to uh, get my controls down really quick. So I picked up a new gun. I believe you can press A to switch guns. Now I have an automatic. Boom, boom. Where are you going? Where are you going? Get him. Oh, I shot him in the leg. He's limping. Let me see. Got him. Let me pick up this ammo. Okay, so this button's to shoot as well. I'm going to see if I can get my aim a little bit better. Alright, let's see. That shoot, that shoot. There we go, that's reload. Okay, I found out the button's a little better now. So, as you can see, James Bond is probably somewhere in Russia or something, knowing the way that this works. Um, but there's some people down here trying to take me out, so I'm just going to come around and creep on them. Get him. Get him, James. Get more ammo. Oh, I got the window here on this guy. Got him. So, yeah, I mean, I was wondering, you know, if you're a viewer or subscriber out there, do you play James Bond games? Um, what kind of shooter games do you like? Um, I know in the past I've been mostly a Call of Duty player. Um, but really, you know, I don't know, I, I've always tried to play like Left 4 Dead, like uh, the zombie games and whatnot, but um, I'm not too good at those. So let's see, oh, got it, oh wait, I close it again, action, let this truck go through, there's another door, open up the door. Is he gonna go? Oh, there we go. All right, so now I'm going pistol whipping. I'm creeping in behind this truck, and I see a guy. Look at that range on that pistol. You jealous? It's gonna be another guy over here, creeping on me. Where is he? Get him! Yeah, it's funny. I played this James Bond game called. Uh, agent under fire and there's this one mission where the the whole everyone's just trying to set off the alarm kind of like that so you get caught it's really like you have to stop the people so you don't get found out about but let's see there's someone in here shooting at me pick up some more ammo so maybe I shouldn't have pressed the alarm on myself but that's okay you see that range Ooh, that was across the map right there. But yeah, speaking of shooter games, you know, hopefully the next Call of Duty is uh, something that I want to play. Um, 
I know it's gonna be like advanced warfare, but um, I don't know. I wasn't too pleased with Call of Duty Ghost. Um, and I know advanced warfare is supposed to be even more futuristic. I think Ghost was like present time. Black Ops 2 is supposedly futuristic, but um, advanced warfare is something completely different than I think any Call of Duty that's come. And I think one of the main reasons for them doing that um, is because they they have the Xbox One now and uh, they can do a lot more with like the graphics and the gameplay but um, I don't know I, I'm definitely gonna uh, upgrade to an Xbox One boom get cat but um, I just I hope I can still enjoy making Call of Duty videos like I used to um, what I was hoping for was more of zombies but uh, it doesn't look like they're gonna let me switch guns real quick Oh, this gun's nice. Boom. Get him. Yeah, but it doesn't look like they're going to have zombies in the next one. I don't know if they're going to try to make a zombie type game. Um, I think that's what they did in Call of Duty Ghost with the whole extinction mode. And um, that was a fail to me. I didn't enjoy extinction mode at all. Um, I don't know if it's because you know it's aliens or whatever, but I feel like the objective of the game isn't as fun as what you do in zombies. Um, but when you go back to classic shooter games like this, like you know, can't go wrong. I mean, of course it would be nice if you can aim down sight, but you know, for this time period, uh, Nintendo 64, you know, this game is a classic. And like I said, especially the multiplayer, um, it's awesome. You know, you can. It's kind of like how in Halo you can set your own settings and stuff if you want and um, you know say I only want to use rockets I only want to use you know this kind of machine gun choose whatever map you want to play on it's pretty sweet so I came into this dead-end room um, and it's, sent, it's giving me some kind of message when I go up to that computer I'm just gonna break some glass like a badass and get, get out of here and make sure there's nowhere else to go so can I go up here? I don't think so. All right, so back this way I go then. So I guess I'm I'm inside the dam right now. I'm guessing. It's quiet. Too quiet. That's what they say in Star Fox. But anyway, um, that's what I'm gonna start working on too. Is putting annotations to the previous episodes of Throwback Thursday. But, um, you know, Throwback Thursday isn't going to be as successful if, you know, the subscribers and viewers don't uh, tell me what they want to see. So, you know, if you obviously we've all played, oh, Lord, we've all played classic um, N64, PlayStation games, whatever. Um, I'm thinking about putting PlayStation on there so I can play, um, I don't know, maybe some Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I think that would be pretty fun. Um, everyone loves Crash Bandicoot. Um, some of the games on Nintendo don't work as well. I tried playing uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater um, 3, where you, the game where you had to find the videotapes or whatever. Um, everybody likes Tony Hawk Pro Skater, even if you're not a skateboarder. Um, how do you not like that game? But it's like the graphics kind of glitch up, because keep in mind, you know, this isn't actually N64. This is an emulator um, on my Xbox, and I've said that in all the videos pretty much. Up until now um, but I just want to make sure people know like the only glitch I saw on this one is kind of like when you look up you see how it kind of blurs but other than that I mean that's just a minor flaw like you can still play this game which is like you know what I'm here to do so real quick I'm gonna pull up my watch check my objectives because I don't even know what I'm doing so my objective is to bungee jump from a platform and it says that there is chemical warfare within the dam and blah, 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 blah. You guys just got to be careful is basically what it says. So I'm going to continue on my mission. See if I can get up this way. Doesn't appear so. so I'm going to go up this ladder here. Got to be careful to look out for enemies. Nobody in here. That'll lead back downstairs. All right. So let's see. They, the, my objective was to jump off of the bridge. So I think that is right. 
here. Ah! I think I got it though. James Bond. Look at him diving. That's epic. Keep in mind, this is an N64 game right here, and they got him skydiving off huge buildings. And after I completed the jump, it says mission completed. That is what I'm talking about. So I just completed the mission on GoldenEye 007 James Bond. Um, and that's going to be the end of this episode of Throwback Thursday. Um, I'll probably go and play the next mission in the lab, but I don't want you guys to be here all day. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to comment um, what you think about GoldenEye and what other games you want to see. Um, this is Easy Jackets, guys, with Throwback Thursday, episode 5. So, I'm just going to wipe out the people in this bathroom that's right here when you drop down. And then uh, I'm going to be out of here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, just be sure to hit the like button. And subscribe. I'm out of here.